Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the weekend of September 24th to September 26th. This reading is for all signs. This reading will be time stamped. This is for the weekend of September 24th to the 25th. Okay, let's see what's going on for the this weekend. Okay, Aquarians, we are starting you off with the High Priestess, the Two of Cups, the Knight of Wands. Okay, so right off the back, could be dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces. Or Scorpio. We have um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here as well. Someone could be you, could be your partner. Apply the energy as it fits to your story. Someone is using or trying to use their intuition. Listening to their intuition about a relationship with a player. Why is this high? Why is this high priestess here? Okay, the world part. Okay, I feel like there is some distance between you and this person, but they want. This person may want to travel towards you. Could be a Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, or another Aquarius. Someone could be spying on you as well. Checking out your social media page, driving past your home, your workplace. This person wants to reconnect. They want you two to um, see eye to eye. They want give and take reciprocity. They may be trying to come towards you this weekend. Yeah, that would be a wish fulfillment for them. If they can come towards you. They they do want something to grow, but with that Knight of Wands, this person could be a player. Yeah. This person may message you to tell you that um, they want something more consistent and stable. This is what they're manifesting. They're manifesting something more consistent and stable with you. That's what they want. They have regrets. They know that they um they hurt you. They let you down. Now they may be crying over spilled milk because they, they do miss you. But... There are some distance here. But they're coming towards you. This person is coming towards you. Someone may have a white, a silver, maybe a gold car, red. This person may be, um, there may be an age gap here. Some of you are very um, intuitive, maybe um, tarot readers as well. Thinking about becoming a tarot reader. This person is a charmer. They may have dark features, may like to party, look good. But this person takes action. This person is... is a go-getter. They go after what they want. And they're they're coming after you. This person is coming after you, Aquarius. Oh, yeah. Look at that. They want to heal this relationship. They want things to go um, to a better place. You feel like home to this person. 
You make this person com feel complete and happy. Yeah, Eight of Wands. This person is coming in. And they're coming in quickly. You may feel like they're um, not coming in, but they are. They feel like you put them out. They feel like you let, you put them out of a home or something like that. But this person is coming back in. They um definitely uh want to <laughs> rekindle things. <laughs> they want to rekindle things with you. Okay, so next thing we are going to do is Taurus. We're going to do Taurus next. Okay. So what is going on with the sign of Taurus? What is going on with my Tauruses for the weekend of September 24th through September 26th? What is the energy for the sign of Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The Four of Swords. The Seven of Cups. Ten points. Some of you could be dealing with a um, Sagittarius. Okay. Or had Sagittarius in your chart. But. Someone. Someone is up at night. This could be you or your partner. I'm seeing someone being up at night trying to decide on. Um, if they want to balance things out in this union. Or how to balance things out in this union. I'm seeing someone feels like they, they're just beat up. Someone is tired. Needing to get some rest. Tired. Needing rest. Um, tired of being worried about everything. Tired of have to, having to be the one to make all of the decisions in this union. Needing balance. Needing... Someone may need a vacation as well, from what I see. Someone is thinking about a vacation. Trying to be patient in this union. But tired. Maybe dealing with too many things, too many people. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Someone is hoping that things get better. Someone is, has disappoint, disappointments, regrets about some things. But wanting to heal and move to a more positive side of things. Yeah. Someone feels left down. Let down, not left. Someone's, someone's let down or disappointed about something. Because we have this disappointment here twice. Someone is disappointed about something because they feel like it's taking too long. This could have something to do with money. You may be disappointed about money because that's your energy. You may, Some of you are waiting or waiting on something from the government with that king of swords. Some of you are waiting on something from, yeah, definitely with the justice card Libra energy. Waiting on something from the government that's going to balance you out. And you're tired of thinking about it. Yeah. Because you want to... Some of you want to walk off into the sunset. I'm seeing someone wanting to go away on a vacation to the beach. But I want to know, what is this disappointment about? Okay. All right. I, I, I need to know what's this disappointment about. What are you disappointed about? A relationship. Ace of Cups. 
So there's a relationship here that disappoints you or disappointed you. And um, I feel like you wanted to start something over. I remember saying this in the weekly. Like you want to start something over in this union. But with the five of pentacles, I'm seeing that it's not happening. Someone could be um, giving you the cold shoulder. Page of pentacles. Someone could be giving you the cold shoulder. Like the bare minimum. Someone could be telling you that they want to walk away from this union. Someone could be telling you they're experiencing financial hardship. And with this world card, there's some physical or emotional distance between you two. Could be dealing with another Taurus, a Scorpio, a Leo, or an Aquarius. Someone could be spying on another person as well. From what I'm seeing, I'm seeing someone spying here. Okay. Someone is definitely spying on the other person. But someone just needs to take a deep breath. Get some rest. And, um... Yeah. So let's move on to Leo. For the weekend of okay that's an ad we're gonna move on to leo for the weekend of september 24th to september 26th this reading is for the sign of leo 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 what is the energy for the sign of leo for the weekend of september 24th to september 26th leo Leo, some of you could be having interruptions at this time. A lot of interruptions. Something could be taking you off your square at this time. You have, yeah, the Ten of Swords. You have the Knight of Pentacles. You have the Knight of Cups. Okay. Something is disappointing you. At the bottom of the deck, you had the Five of Cups and the Ten of Swords is right here as your first card. Something, you feel let down, betrayed. Um, Something is taking too long for you. You're trying to gain wisdom and clarity about it. I do see you having regrets here. Regrets, crying over spilled milk. <clears throat> Apply the energy as it fits to your story. But some of you are disappointed because something or someone is taking too long. And I feel like you're looking at this situation like okay what's the hold up why are you taking so long i'm ready to come towards you but i'm ready to come towards you to offer you a cup of my love but i can't and that's what's causing you to feel this disappointment here but as i said there are some regrets here as well so why is this ten of sword okay ten of swords here so, I feel like with this Ace of Swords, you want to come overcome some obstacles with this person. Something happened that disrupt. That's why I said I, I feel like there's some disruption going on. Something happened where um, something disrupt the, the, the foundation of this union. And it's causing you to feel disappointment because this person... It's taking too long to offer you a cup of their love or you want to offer them a cup of your love. You want to overcome these obstacles, have a conversation so that things can move forward with this wheel of fortune. You want to put it into the cycle, the um, hesitant or disruptive cycle and move things forward with this person. But... Okay, so I'm seeing with this Knight of Wands in the reverse. Okay, that's your energy. So <clears throat> you may have turned away from some player ways, and now you are ready to go towards this person and have an honest conversation with this person. But you, you may be trying to get this person's attention in some way. You, you may need to get this person's attention. 
in some some way you're you're trying to get this person's attention. Yeah. So you're listening to the high priest or your the your intuition at this time. Because you feel like with the Empress in reverse, Taurus and uh Libra's energy, you feel like this union isn't going anywhere. It's not it's not growing. It's not um, being nurtured because you can't get to this person. And then you have the seven of swords. You're thinking about walking away altogether because you feel like this person is being deceptive. Like doing something behind your back and you want to walk away, but you, you keep looking back. You keep looking back. What is this disappointment? Why is this um, ten of... Okay, so we have the five of... What is it that you're regretting? Okay, so someone was feeling alone. Feeling like they put all the work in this union and by themselves. Someone feels as if they were just in this union alone. Oh, okay. And um, the other person... Wasn't putting anything in it. Yeah. Page of Pentacles. The Sun card. This is you. Yeah, so I feel like it was illuminated. This may have something to do with children as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what I was getting. Like someone may have, there may be a family here. And that's what caused the disruption in this union. Because someone was alone and they couldn't carry this heavy burden. So they walked away. But now I'm seeing someone wants to come back for... Someone wants to come back in for a second chance with this. Yeah. So that's what I'm seeing for this weekend. That someone wants to come back in for a second chance. But the thing is, there's a family here. Like, <laughs> so that means that whomever this player is, or whomever it is, they thought they were walking away from their player ways is still playing because there's still a family here. All right. So that was Leo's. Now we are going to move on to. The sign of Scorpio. Scorpio, what's going on with my Scorpios? What's going on? What's going on with my Scorpios? Okay. One more time. One more time. All right. Let's see what's going on with the sign of Scorpio. Scorpios, you have the King of Cups. That's your energy. The Three of Wands and the World card. The King of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the World card. All right, so from what I am seeing, Scorpio... Oh, I'm saying that you love someone and you are sitting on your throne waiting for the right opportunity or waiting for this person to come in and you're patiently waiting. Oh, and that stare, if anybody knows a Scorpio stare can give you chills, okay? Yes. With this world card here, you are patiently waiting for this person to come in. It's like you're sitting there and, you and you're and you like, I know you're coming in. Okay? I <laughs> that, that's a look on this person's face. I know you're coming in. Okay? I don't see enough. I know you're coming in to me. I'm the Scorpio. Okay? Yeah. We're going to overcome these obstacles. We're going to get past 
whatever it is that's going in, on, and we're going to start this over. Because I know that you're blocked. You're blocking me right now. You're guarded. You're fighting me off. So I'm going to just sit here and wait for you to come back in. And then we can move on to peace and harmony. Look at that. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. Look, karma, judgment. That's your energy. I know we're going to have this second chance at love. You better go ahead, Scorpio. You better go ahead, okay? That's this. That's this masculine energy. Oh, okay, look at this. So with the moon card, Scorpio, you may feel like this person has um a secret, like someone has options. You feel like someone has options, but you're waiting because you know this person is coming back in for the four of wands. You're waiting patiently, patiently waiting for this person to come. Look at this, to come in so that you can nurture. This is a wish fulfillment for this person to come in. You may, some of you may be um proposing or uh, leveling up or commit. I mean, going into commitment with this person from what I see, because you're like, oh no, I know you're coming back to me. I'm going to go ahead and let you, you know, do what you do, and I'll wait for you to come back because I know you're coming back. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Pisces. What is going on with my Pisces? All oh, of the Pisces out there. Oh, boy. I'm sorry. That was funny to me. <laughs> I was just looking like... That Scorpio was looking with that intense stare. Like, uh-uh. I'm sitting here on my throne waiting because I know you're coming back to me. I know what's getting ready to take place. Okay? Pisces. All right. Ooh. The wheel. The Nine of Pentacles. And we have the Hangman. That's your energy. So, Pisces, you... You may want to travel at this time. You may be thinking about a vacation, traveling somewhere alone. Wanting to get away by yourself. May want to go... May Some of you want to go on a girl's trip or just get out and do something. Something... That you haven't done in a while. Like, maybe just get out the house. Um, some Go somewhere local. Like, somewhere where you can drive to. And maybe have a drink or, you know, spend some time with friends. Some of you have a white, gray, silver, or black car. Possibly red. Um... Yeah, but you're ready to go. Some of you may be thinking about purchasing a new car this weekend as well. Thinking about your finances, growing your finances. But for the most part, I'm seeing you wanting to get out. Wanting to get out and do something with um something social. You feel like you may feel like you're you're alone too much and and don't have enough social time. You may be feeling stuck financially as well. Yeah, I feel like you may be presenting yourself to others as being okay. But in your mind, you're you're going through some type of struggle. And you may not be telling anyone about it. You may want to put an end to something and start something new. And that's what's on your mind. What do you want to put an end to? Oh, some of you want to put it into a job. Some of you want are thinking about leaving a job or you left the job. Yeah. You may be getting advice from other people about this. Some of you may be praying about, praying about it. 
like meditating on it. You're trying to gain some type of um, clarity about leaving a job. But I feel like with this three of swords, I feel like with the three of swords here, if you leave a job or if you left a job, there are going to be some broken hearts. Okay. There are going to be some broken hearts because this, this job may feel like home to you. This job may feel like home to you, but I'm seeing you're ready to walk away. You're ready to walk away from this. Yeah. And with the nine, uh, I mean, the hermit, Virgo energy, you're trying to gain clarity. That's what that alone energy is about. Because you're, you're, you're thinking this, but this is in your mind, but you may not be telling anyone. And you're struggling with it because you're ready to go somewhere, travel somewhere, or do something. But you're trying to gain clarity on it. And it has something to do with the new beginning. You want to do something that you love. Yeah, something that's going to be worth your while. Okay? Something that is going to be worth your while. <clears throat> Not going to just do anything. So, let's go on to Gemini. Gemini reading for this weekend. What is Gemini's energy for this weekend? What is Gemini's energy for this weekend? All right, Gemini. I feel some stuck energy. Some of you feel stuck. Okay. Feel like you can't do something. Okay. Ouch. All right, let's see. Gemini's. So, Gemini's, we are. You have the temperance. You have temperance here, Sagittarius energy, five of swords, and the queen of cups. So, Gemini, I'm seeing that you're trying to gain something. You're trying to balance something out. Something is giving you a damn headache. You're like, oh, I got me, I got me a damn headache. You're trying to be, <laughs> you're trying to be patient. But something is giving you a damn headache. That's what I keep hearing. Oh, I have a damn headache. <laughs> With this queen of cups, you're like, oh, God. You're trying to, like, release this this headache, whatever it is that's getting on your damn nerves. And I, like I said, I keep hearing damn. Whatever it is that's getting on your damn nerves, you're like... You're ready just to give it up to the universe. Give it up to God. Like, oh, cow gun, take me away. <laughs> this could be with your loved ones, with this queen of wands. But you're trying to move towards peace and harmony. You're like, oh, like I don't have time for this ish. This is giving me a damn headache. And you could be waiting on a message from someone, too. Some of you could be waiting on a message, like you're waiting on a message so that you can have this peace and harmony, this, this time of tranquility. Like, okay, I'm ready for this, the end, to put an end to this so I can have my me time. That's what it looks like. And um, either you need to may need to travel towards someone for something or someone needs to travel towards you. Okay. Because whatever this is that's getting on your damn nerves, you're ready to release it. It's giving you a headache. Yes. Giving you a headache. And now I'm seeing it like you may have regrets like, what the hell? Why did I do this? Why did I even do this? I'm ready to put an end to this and start something over. By myself. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Putting an end to this and start something over alone. Because this has me overthinking. Up in my head, overthinking. 
I'm putting on the front right now. And I need to take control of my life, the emperor. Aries energy. I need to take control of my life or my situation. Whatever is going on is giving you a headache, having you up in your head, and you're like, no, I need to get some type of control over this because this is giving me a damn headache. <laughs> mean to laugh but that's just what i'm getting that is what i'm getting so let's see what's going on with the sign of virgo for the weekend of september 24th to september 26th virgos 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 don't forget this will be time stamp oh all right virgo what's going on your car just slid out i didn't even pull anything I think it's one more down here. I hope not. Yeah, I don't see anything. <sighs> I hate when the cars fall in and in a position where it's hard for me to get to. Bent the cars up and everything. So we have the Two of Cups and the Three of Swords. Two of Cups and the Three of Swords here so far. For the sign of Virgo. And we have the Ten of Cups. Alright, so. This looks like this has something to do with a relationship or a family. Let's see. Are you arguing with someone in your family or not seeing eye to eye with someone? You and someone in your family are on two different paths you have um two different viewpoints about something pertaining to a family there is some type of disagreement here about a family um something going on in a family some type of argue arguing or something yeah three of pentacles i don't know this is the same reading that keeps coming out. Like someone sitting around gossiping, arguing, starting arguments or something, and it's causing you to, to have this anxiety. It keep, it's been coming out. This is the third time, I think. Yeah, and you're like, Ugh, I'm ready to give this up and move on to something else. Because someone is sitting around gossiping. You're trying to balance things out, trying to have patience with these people. Um, tempering Sagittarius energy. I feel like you be bothered. You're being bothered with these people, but at a, it's at a minimum because you're trying to maintain your peace. That's what I'm saying. You're trying to maintain. Yeah, you don't have time for this. You're 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 like no. I'm moving on to something else. I, I'm healing, and I'm moving. I'm trying to stay positive. I'm I'm I've got clarity that I need. And I'm moving on to things that are going to be better for me. Some of you want to go on a vacation and travel. But I'm seeing Sagittarius energy here. Leo energy. Aquarius energy. Scorpio energy. Taurus energy. And Virgo, you're like, I don't have time for this. Like, I am moving on. You're not even paying these, these people any, any mind. Whomever it is that's talking about you or gossiping about you, you're not paying them any mind at all. Because I'm, I'm hearing clear as day. I don't have time for this ish. I don't want to say the curse word because I don't, I don't want to get, uh, I mean, I'm sure I can, but I, I don't want to. It's okay. But I'm just hearing like, I don't have time for this ish. Go ahead. Say what you want to say. I am moving on. I'm moving forward in a positive way. I'm healing. And I'm moving forward. And these people are not even aware that you have the light around you. <laughs> While they're talk talking, it's darkness looming around them. But around you, your overhead and your surroundings are lit up. So let them talk. Let them talk. They're going to talk anyway, right? That's what people do. 
whenever you are, um, you know, doing good, they're going to talk. All right, so we're going on to Sagittarius. And um, let's see what's going on. My times might be off a little bit. We have the world card for Sagittarius. Okay. Could be dealing with a fixed sign. Six of swords. And the six of pentacles. So some of you are trying to balance out your finances. Balance out a relationship or you're thinking about balancing out your finances or a relationship. Some of you are um, at a distance from someone and you're ready to move towards that person. You want to go towards them. Could be an Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, or a Taurus. Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, Capricorn, or not a Cancer. Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus energy is here as well. So is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But, um, yeah, I'm seeing that um, you're ready to um, go towards someone to balance out this, this union, okay? Sagittarius. Or someone could, this could be vice versa. Apply the energy as it fits to your story. Yeah, there could have been a fight or an argument that took place that created this distance. Why is this five of wands here? Okay, could have been over a third party. Too many people involved. Someone could have been working too much as well. But I'm seeing that um, some type of third party or too many people were involved in a situation that created an argument or a fight or some distance. Yeah, Page of Wines. Now, someone is ready to take action to come towards you or you them. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I feel like if with this nine of cups, if this person comes towards you, they are that what that that will be a wish fulfillment for them. Because right now when this person is sleeping alone, they're up in their head at night. They don't know what to do because they're they're um wondering what you are doing. Yeah, they feel like you're ignoring them. Like you're not accepting their offer. Yeah. I feel like you make this person happy. Could be a Leo. You make them happy. They're, this person is um waiting on... They, they're waiting for some clarity. Because they feel like something came to an end. They feel like you don't want to be bothered with them anymore. And they're trying to come in and bring in some stability, some balance back into this union. But I feel like you're not paying them any mind. Okay, Sagittarius, that is your weekend reading for September the 24th to the 25th. We are going to move on to the sign of Capricorn. And I will be changing decks for the last four signs. This is for the sign of Capricorn. The sign of Capricorn. Okay. All right, let's see what's going on with my Capricorns. Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn, all right, let's see, Capricorns, we have the seven of, okay, seven of pentacles, the tower, and the five of wands. So you stop putting in work, you stop working on a relationship because of a tower moment. And that tower moment was arguing and fighting. Some of you could have been physically 
arguing and fighting with someone. Because it looked like something happened that was not catastrophic, but it caused the foundation of this union to come crumbling down. Now someone is feeling anxious, having some anxiety, feeling like they're sleeping alone at night, or they could be very much sleeping alone, trying to gain some clarity and wisdom and manifesting. What are they manifesting? Yeah, taking action to come in. Someone wants to start this over. They're like, why? What the hell just happened? This could be a marriage with this hierophant. But someone's taking action, getting advice from other people. They're ready to come back in. Exactly. Because they feel like it's taking too too long to reconnect. Mm -hmm. This person is ready to get in their car and travel towards you. Or you're ready to get in your car and travel towards this person. Yes, could be a fixed sign, a Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, or an Aquarius. Yeah, closing the gap to gain some type of victory here, to offer a cup of love. So either you or them are going to be sending out a message. Someone's going to send a message that says, I love you, I, I'm ready to see you, I, I want to hug, I want to kiss, I miss you. Yeah, someone's sending out that message. Okay. But I feel like this argument with this argument, Capricorns, this could have been like a friends with benefits relationship. And maybe that's what the argument was about. Okay. So I'm going to leave it at that. Aries, let's see. What's going on with my Aries? For the weekend of September the 24th to September 26th, the sign of Aries. All right, that's it. That's it. Let's cut this deck. What is going on with my Aries? Aries. Uh, what is going on with the sign of Aries? Aries. Aries. Okay. Eight of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. And the Moon. Okay. Cancer Pisces energy is here. So, someone wants to come towards you to communicate. But I feel like they're taking their time because they are uncertain on how you're going to... Um, receive what they have to say so they're taking their time i feel like this could have something to do with a secret or something that you may not know about someone wants to come towards you to tell you something that you may not know about this is like a secret or something let's see yeah ace of wands let's see why is this ace of wands here for the sign of Aries. Okay. Let's see. All right. So someone could definitely, with the Six of Pentacles, be juggling within a marriage with their Ace of Wands and their Six of Pentacles. I'm seeing some juggling energy. Could be in a long-term commitment or in a marriage. Or if it's not that, Someone could be taking their time to balance out this union. Strength card, Leo's energy. Okay. Why is the strength card here? Okay. The Ace of Cups. So someone could be trying to balance out the union. Someone could be trying to balance out this union. And this magician card came right back out. It wanted to come out. Someone's manifesting a new beginning in love here. Someone is manifesting a new beginning in love. But I feel like something is blocked and restricted. There's some blockage here. Why is this two of swords here? It has something to do with that moon card. Yeah, something is blocked from being worked on because someone is being sneaky. I feel like it was illuminated 
to either you or your person. There's someone and someone. There's a secret here. There's a secret. Yeah, here we go. Third party. Someone is taking action towards something else. Mm -hmm. And this person may feel like you're ignoring them because you're hurt and wounded. Yeah. So right now, things are stuck, suspended in the air because this person is blocked. They may be spying on you at this time, driving past your home, your job, checking out your social media because they want to come towards you to offer you a cup of love. But this person with the page of cups at the bottom of the deck, this person is only offering sex, especially with this ace of wands. So they may be coming in to offer you a friends with benefits deal. Okay, Aries. All right, let's see. Can cancers. Some of you cancers may be dealing with the Capricorn. Cancers. What's going on with the sign of cancers? We're going to do cancers. And, of course, Libras will be last for this weekend's reading. And then we are going to close this out. I'm going to try to time stamp this as best as I can. If I am off a little, please help me out by time stamping in the comment section. I will greatly appreciate it. Not all of them, but some of them. <laughs> because I don't really, I'm, I'm, this is my first time doing it this way for the weekend. So I said I'll try something new. All right, so what's going on? Cancers, cancers. Some of you want to work on something. Some of you want to take a leap of faith and work on something. There's something in my heart. Something in my heart. That's what I hear. All right, let's see. Page of Swords. Six of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. All right, so we got a, a younger energy, someone spying, could be on someone's Facebook, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, but we have a younger energy that's trying to figure out, we have a younger energy that's given to multiple people with this Six of Pentacles and this Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is the player of the deck. The charmer here, there, everywhere. Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. Or wherever she laid her hat was her home. Someone, someone is going around giving out the wop or the wine. But definitely giving to multiple people. Okay? But spying on someone as well. Yeah, here we go. Three of cups. Three of cups. Okay? That's that player energy. Celebrating, having a good old time with these people. And then we have the Six of Swords. So this person could be traveling to, to see these of this other person. And with this Strength card, Leo's energy. Why is this Strength card here? Why is this Strength card here? Okay. Someone could be taming themselves from a marriage hmm. or being strong within it. Someone is being strong within a marriage because they want to maintain a peace and harmony, but they're in a third party. Hmm. Okay. Cancer, this is your energy. This? Okay, so there is some disappointment here. There's definitely some disappointment within a marriage or long-term commitment. It's like someone is in a marriage and they have to be strong within a marriage to keep har the harmony, to keep the so things can keep moving. 
Yeah, see? So that things won't be stuck. Could be with the Pisces. Or they so someone won't lose money. And here you go. Cancer, this is you. Are you the one maintaining a peace in this union to keep the family together? So that things can continue to flow and you don't lose money? You want to move on from something that you feel is like a stalemate relationship. Like it's not going anywhere. It, if you feel like it keeps you stuck. But you're waiting patiently for the right opportunity because of something that's pertaining. You may be waiting to move on for, for your, until your money get better. Or either you work with this person. Like you may be waiting until you find another job. Let me say. Yeah. So you there is a decision here that needs to be made. What is this? What is this decision? It's about a secret. Like something that's in the dark. Yeah, that you may, you or your person may need to discuss. Yeah, here's the mistress, the queen of wands. There's a mistress here. So there is something going on because we have two queens. We have a wife and then we have the mistress that's here. Yeah, so you may want to have a conversation or either this is your person. Someone wants to come have a conversation about being single, like going off and doing something on their own, but they can't because of something pertaining to finances. The finances is blocked or something. Yeah. Or either you want to separate yourself from this person and go towards the mistress and have a new beginning in love. I don't, I, I that's what I'm getting. Like someone here is in a third party situation. There are two women here. There's a wife and there's a mistress. And out of the three, one person wants to go off and be single, but they're not because of the someone may hit, may lose money if they become single or something like that. That's what I'm getting. Like someone's going to be not have as much money if they go off on their own or either you work with this person it's one or the other apply the energy as it fits to your story only you know only you know your story and the energies of your story okay all right so let's see we're going to um start on libra's libra's energy What's going on with the sign of Libra? Libra. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Libra. One more. Bum, bum, bum. The way you walk and talk, you really turn me. I don't know why I'm hearing that song. All right. Libra's. What's going on with my Libras? Libra, you have the Page of Cups here. You have the Three of Wands here. You have the Queen of Swords. That is your energy. Okay, so I'm seeing... And this could be you or someone wanting to offer a cup of love. Sending a message. Someone could be messaging you, telling you that they love you, they miss you, they want to see you, but they may be waiting for the right time because I feel like you may have cut this person off. Because this person may have not, maybe they didn't see your worth. They didn't see 
your strength or they needed to see your strength. Or this person is um, trying to come in because they know your worth. They know your strength. They know your value. They know you are worthy. They see that you're strong. You can get through some things. But they're waiting because you may have told this person right now is not the right time. But with this queen of wands, this person is ready to take action. They're fiery. They're ready to go. I feel like with this nine of pentacles... This person doesn't want you to get away. They're looking right at you like, please, I don't I don't want you to get away. Yeah, you're you may be this person's wish fulfillment. Yeah. They're gonna come in and try to maintain some balance with you because you are their wish fulfillment. And they're coming in quickly. This person is coming in quickly. Yeah. But they're conflicted because they feel like you're gonna reject them. And it's going to cause them to be overwhelmed. Feel so like they're overwhelmed if you turn them down. But they're manifesting. This person is manifesting to come in. So, Libras, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to try to do the timestamp. The accurate times for each sign. Um, enjoy your weekend. Be safe out there. I'm sending you so much love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you for watching. Again, enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I will see you next time. Bye.